Hi everyone, welcome back to Knowledge Center. So today in this session, I'm going to explain you the way of solving the finding an angle between hour and and a minute and by using formula. So in my previous video, I explained this thing with a traditional concept. So in traditionally how to solve the uh, problem for this kind of uh, finding angle questions. Now I'm going to give one formula which will be helpful to solve the answers easily okay but uh, you watch this video till the end because at the end i am going to explain you i am going to explain the questions which are very tricky means for that question we get two different answers traditionally if you solve we get one answer and if you solve with the use of a formula you get another answer so if in that case how to get the solution for those kind of a problems that will be explained at the end of this video so I suggest all of you to watch this video completely without missing the end. Let's begin with the first question now. So here I'll take one example and that example will be explained with the traditional method as well as the formula method. Okay. And if you want to have a detail about the traditional method, go through the previous video on the clock. So that is the first video on the clock. The link of that is available in the description. So let me consider this clock and say I uh, will consider one time for uh, let me consider 120 so find an angle between the hour and a minute and if the time is 120 1 hour 20 minutes so very first thing is let me plot the diagram uh, means hands so minute hand will be 20 minutes so it has to it has to be at, at 4 so this is minute hand and what about the hour hand it will be not exactly at 1 o'clock because already it is 120 so it is passing that one somewhere here we get it somewhere here we get it so let me take this as our hand so our hand is not exactly at 1 and but minute hand is exactly at 4 because it is 20 ok now you just need to find an angle between these two that is theta so traditional method says that very simple look into the sector angle see what is the angle it is covering it is covering from this 4 to this. So we know that each sector is of 30 degree. Because that was I explained in the previous video. Where 3 to 4 we get 30 degree. So this is called a sector. Each sector will be having a 30 degree. And 2 to 3 will also consider as 30 degree. And in between this point to 2 we don't know what is an angle. This angle let me consider it as x. If you consider 1 to 2, if you consider 1 to 2, then that would be 30 degree. But now, I am not going to consider it from 1 to 2, because 1, the hour end is pointing towards this point. So, you just need to find the x. If you get that x, then you can get the angle between the hour and minute and easily by adding 30 plus 30 plus x. Okay. So, you can do it like this. 30 plus 30 plus x will give you an angle. So, what is x? So to find that x, we are going to make use of a note 2, which was explained in the first video of the clock. So note 2 says, there, says that if the minute hand makes 1 minute, if a minute hand moves for 1 minute, then the hour hand will have a movement of half degree. Now minute hand is up to 20, means it is, now minute is 20. So for 20 minutes, the hour hand will make a movement of half of this that is 20 by 2 which is nothing but 10 degree right so we have this formula if that is a note why right? means we can identify the hour and moment of angle of hour and with respect to the minute and how much of this has been moved minute is 20 minutes so half of that will be the angle of the hour and from one o'clock so now it has been moved 10 degree from this side so in this 30 degree if just we have 10 degree, then the x is going to be 20 degree. The remaining part will be x. That is 20 degree. So we can say 30 plus 30 plus 20. That would be the angle between hour and a minute and. So the total, it will be 80 degree. This is a traditional method. Right. I have explained in detail. Once you practice on this, by just looking into this, you can identify it. No need of writing all these notes over there. Right. So... Now let us solve the same question using formula. So the formula is something like this. The formula is 
30 hour minus 11 by 2 into minutes and here let me put this this is modulus so why I have mentioned modulus means sometimes we get negative answer so here don't bother about whether it is a negative or positive so that is why I mentioned the modulus even if you get a negative you just neglect the sign and consider the magnitude of it so now 30 into hour so according to the formula let us calculate so when you write this formula without looking into this you can solve it see 30 into h what is our here 1 minus 11 by 2 into minutes what is the minute it is 20 so I will take 20 so simplify 2 2 tens are now 30 into 1 is 30 minus 11 tens are 110 so 30 minus 110 will be minus 80 so as I mentioned you have to consider only the magnitude you can consider the angle between those two hands is just 80 degree 80 degree and that's what we got here in the traditional method also so now if you know the traditional method then definitely you can't make any mistakes there so this formula will make it easy for you to get the answer okay I hope this formula is clear for you 30 into h minus 11 by 12 2 into minute put a modulus okay if it is a negative maybe a negative or a positive but the magnitude will be perfect so the answer is same now okay now let me take one more example so that it will be easy for you to understand let us solve this by using an another example now let us consider the time as uh, so let, I can take any other example now uh, if it is a 120 let me take it as a uh, 240 let us double it so 240 in this sense let us apply this with the traditional method first and then we will go for formula method so traditional method says that 2 and 40 just draw this in between 2 and 40 40 in this sense minute and should be pointing at 8 ok and our and will be in between 2 and 3 it is not exactly at 2 it will be in between 2 and 3 say somewhere here we don't know what is that actually right so you need to find this portion is going to become x and from here to here from here to here we get how many sectors 1 2 3 4 5 so we get 5 sectors so each sector will have 30 degree so 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 30 if you add it for 5 times it will be 150 so I can say that 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 up to this after that we have x so now we can say that what is this x so how to find it very simple 1 by 2 degree into minutes how many minutes we have means for 1 minute it is going to be 1 by 2 degree now it is 40 minutes so 40 by 2 degree will be the moment of an hour and that is 20 degree ok so this has been moved for 20 degree from 2 o'clock the hour and has been moved for 20 degree so x will be the remaining angle don't get confused this is not the formula to find x this is the formula where in I can identify what is the moment of our hand so our hand has been moved by 20 degree so remaining 10 degree will be the value of x so now just add 10 plus plus 10 for that so now what happens 150 plus 10 is 160 degree so that would be the answer traditionally now let's check it with a formula so formula says that 30 into h so what is the hour it's 2. So 30 into 2 minus 11 by 2 into 40. 2 1s are 2 20s are. 30 into 2 is 60 minus what is 11 into 20? So 11 2s are 22. So 220 and put a modulus here. Now 60 minus 220 is going to become 160. You will get minus 160 but you have to consider the magnitude. So I can say this is just 160 degree. The answer is same. Okay. So we got the same answer by both the methods. But here the traditional method is and the formula we have. Whichever the method you feel better you can consider that. Now let, let us take one more example which will be very interesting now. So I hope these two examples. Now let's have the third example. So this question is very critical. Here we are going to find some of the tricky way of solution. So watch this till the end. 
without skipping any single minute of this video app. So let me take an example now, 12.30. If it is at 12 o'clock and 30 minutes, what would be the angle between those two hands? So traditionally I will explain you, see 12.30 means we draw it like this. So this is after the minute hand will be up to the 6, o 6. it will be pointing towards 6. And the hour hand is going to lie between the 12 and 1. It will not be exactly at 12. So let me write this 1 o'clock somewhere here. Right. So we get it in between those two. Right. So we are getting in between those two. Now the thing is, traditionally what we will do? We will find the angle between these sectors up to this point. So this is, we can say, up to this we will take it as an X. From here to here, we can take it as an 30 degree because each sector will be 30 degree. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 sectors of 30 degree plus X will give the angle. So what is X? So it will be identified, first you need to identify this angle. Then subtract with 30, we'll get the X. So 30 minutes, minute hand is pointing at 30. So 30 by 2 will give you the 15 degree. So this is 15 degree. So the hour hand has been moved from 12 o'clock, away from 12 o'clock as 15 degree. So if this is 15 degree, now the X value is going to be 15 because 30 minus 15 will be the remaining. So X is 15 degree. So what would be the answer now? So 15 degree plus this. So 30 into 5 is 150. 150 plus 15 is going to be 165 degree. So let us take this as a solution with the traditional method. Now apply the formula method. The formula is 30 into H minus 11 by 2 into minutes. Okay. So what is 30 into H? H is 12. Minus 11 by 2 into minute. Minute is 30. So let me simplify. 12 and 2 15 is 30 into 12. 12 is 36. So you can say 360. Minus 11 into 15. 11 into 15 will be 165. So if we simplify this. 360 minus 165. We get it as 195. See here the answer is 195. Whereas here we got 165. Right. So how is it possible? For one simple example, for one simple question, we got two answers with a different methods. Now this will be a confusion for the student. Means now they will be in a dilemma that whether I should go with the traditional method or a formula method. Because we are getting different answers in both the case. Right. So which method is perfect? So that will be the question you will be having in your mind right now. So let me clear it up. Don't be panic about this. See, whatever the answer you got here, this is not the final answer, but this is the answer for the another condition. So let me make it clear. In this kind of an concept, like that is where we find the angle between the hands, there are two types of asking question. Two way of asking question. Means, they may ask you to find an angle between the hour, and the another way of asking question is to find the reflex angle, reflex angle between the hours and a minute and. So reflex angle is nothing but, so if you consider it in a clockwise direction, whatever you are getting that is the angle. The opposite portion which is the remaining portion, this portion we call it as a reflex angle. So this answer what I am getting here, it is a reflex angle, not an angle. Now you may ask, sir, for for first two questions you have considered that as an angle, but now you are telling it is a reflex angle. So for that I will tell you the hint. So, if answer, if we are solving the problem using the formula method, you need to be very careful. If the answer is less than 180, then that is an angle. Okay, that you have to consider it as an angle. If the answer what we are obtaining here is more than 180, then it is a reflex angle that is not an angle. So angle means between this side that is a clockwise. And the opposite portion what we have, the remaining angle is a reflex angle. So now this is greater than 180. So I will consider this as a reflex angle. But for my, according to my question, I need to find an angle. So what to do now? To find this angle what I do? I got 195. So what is the remaining angle? So totally 360 degree. So how to find the angle is? Whatever the answer you got here, if it is 180 degree, more than 180 degree, you have to apply simple method now. If it is more than 180 degree, do it like this. 360 minus that answer. That will be equal to 165 
which is similar to this. Got the answer, right? So in both the case, you got the same answer. But the thing is, here we have a chance of getting a reflex angle solution. So what suggestion I give here, what hint I am going to give is, if the answer is more than 180, then that is a reflex angle. What immediately what you need to do, you just subtract that with a 360. 360 minus the answer will give you the actual angle between the hats, hour and minute hand. That will be similar to this method, traditional method. So now we can conclude that in a traditional method we always get a angle between the hour and minute and not the reflex angle. Whereas when you use a formula, there is a chance of getting a reflex angle. So what you need to be do, you need to be careful about is just concentrate on this answer. If it is more than 180, simply do this and you get the actual angle. Okay. To make it clear, let me take one more example here. So this will be a last example in this video. So concentrate on this and understand it. Okay. So let me take the time, the common time. Most of the clock will be showing the time here. Most of the clock will be showing the time. So let me consider that number now. That is 10, 10. This is the time. Now if this is the time, find an angle between the hour and minute hand. So this position is going to change. Let me represent it here clearly. So 1, 10, 10 in the sense, minute hand will be at 2. Okay, that is here. And what about the hour and? It will be not at 10, but slightly above that. So somewhere here up to this. So what you can say, this one complete sector, two, three sectors we are getting. So we say three into 30 degree plus this portion. So what is this movement here? Now this movement can be identified by using this. Minute hand is at 10 and we have 10 by 2. Okay. If minute hand is pointing towards 10, the hour hand will be half of that. It will be more half of that. So 10 by 2 is nothing but 5 degree. So it has moved 5 degree from the 10 o'clock. So remaining this portion is going to be 25. 30 minus 5, that is 25. So the x will be 25. So even if it is not clear here, the traditional method, I have explained it clearly in first video. So I am just doing it uh, in a shorter hand. Okay. So go through the first video for traditional method. So now it is 90 plus 25, we can say 115 degree is the answer. Now apply the formula. 30 into h, h is 10, minus 11 by 2 into 10, minutes is 10. So 2 1s are 2, 5s are. So 30 into 10 is going to be 300, minus 11 5s are 55. So what you can say now, 300 minus 50 is 250, so 55 is 245 will be the answer. Which is again not similar to this answer. So don't just compare, because when we solve the problems, we will not solve it by two methods. You will be solving only using the formula method or a traditional method. If you are using a formula method, you will get 245. So once you get more than 180, what the next step you need to apply is, if it is more than 180, you apply it like this. 360 minus 245 include this one step extra, which will be the equal to 55, sorry, which will be equal to 115 degree, which is as similar as this. Right. So this is what I just wanted to make it clear for you guys because a tricky questions will play very confusions in a in your mind because uh, now you can conclude that now you can conclude that you can use a traditional method or a formula method you will get the same answer only one hint is if it is a formula method you should be very careful about the answer if it is more than 180 apply this if it is less than 180 just keep that itself as an answer okay and one more hint I have given, angle and reflex angle. They may ask angle and the reflex angle. Okay. If it is more than 180, that is considered as a reflex angle. I hope the concepts were very clear now. So if the concepts are clear, just press the like button and also share among your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.